So for my creative work, I'm using the 16 inch M4 Max MacBook Pro. It's an absolute powerhouse and already comes with a bunch of nice ports. But that's not always enough and sometimes you just need more. More ports, more speed and more flexibility for all of your gear. That's why I got pretty excited when Ivanki sent over the Fusion Dock Max 2, their new MacBook dock for Thunderbolt 5. It can run a full triple display setup, deliver crazy fast speeds and has a ton of ports. Let's check it out. Inside the box we've got the user manual and paperwork, the dock itself, the power adapter and a couple of cables. A dual USB-C cable to connect the dock to a MacBook, USB-C to HDMI cable, the power cable and even a Thunderbolt 5 cable. Nice! The dock itself feels really premium. Solid aluminum, clean machining and just the right amount of heft so it won't slide around when you're plugging stuff in. I just love the look with the dark materials and those orange accents. It gives it that Apple Ultra vibe. The dock looks like it's floating inside the outer shell, which not only looks really cool, but also helps with airflow, especially in combination with the built-in cooling fan. You know how some docks get so hot you could fry an egg on top? Well, I don't think you'll have that problem with this one. Now let's look at the connectivity on this thing. 23 ports. Starting at the front, there's an actual power button. Love that. I don't need another device running 24 seven. I like to turn things off when I'm not using them. Next, SD and micro SD slots. I use those all the time for offloading footage from my camera or maybe a drone and at the full speed of the cards connected. It's great that they are right in front of me too, so I don't have to blindly search on the side of my MacBook like I'm playing Operation. There's also a 3.5mm audio jack for headphones or a mic. Useful. Then the USB lineup. Three USB-C ports, one of which can deliver up to 30 watt fast charging. Ideal for iPhone, iPad or smaller gear. All of these ports can run data at 10 gigabit per second. Perfect for fast access and transfers to external SSDs or drives. Here's some of the numbers I got with one of my SSDs. You also get a healthy stack of USB-A ports. One at 10 gigabit per second, two at 5 gigabit per second, and two USB 2.0. They all come in handy. My teleprompter and capture card still run on USB-A, so now I can just plug them in up front instead of using converters or doing cable yoga behind the desk every time. Right, now let's swing around to the back of the dock. Another audio jack. Makes a lot of sense if you've got audio gear you want to keep connected. Keeps the cables out of sight. We've also got another pair of USB-A ports, 5 gigabit per second and USB 2.0. Next, Ethernet. A massive win for me. I've been on the same old Wi-Fi network for ages and I really need to upgrade my setup. Until then, having a wired connection straight into the MacBook is awesome. No more mid-meeting freeze frames. Freeze frame, frame, frame. Next, the dual upstream Thunderbolt and USB-C ports. That's where that dual cable plugs in to connect to the MacBook. It delivers up to 140 watts of power, plenty to keep a 16 inch M4 Max fully fed at full speed. There's also an optical audio port and two more USB-C ports at 10 gigabit per second. Perfect for my 16 terabyte SSD rate with my video archive and my backup and time machine drive. And again, the speed on these ports is stable and consistent. Now let's talk about display connectivity. The Fusion Dock Max 2 is the first and only MacBook dock with Thunderbolt 5 support for true triple display output. 
two 6K and one 4K. So for example, you could run a pair of 6K Pro Display XDRs from two of the Thunderbolt ports and one 4K monitor or TV over HDMI 2.0. That's a full on command center. You could probably launch a satellite from there. So yeah, those three Thunderbolt 5 ports really open a lot of potential. In my setup, I've got one Thunderbolt 5 port that runs my 5K studio display, including the webcam, speakers, and the USB-C ports on the back. Now when Apple finally releases the next version of the display, hopefully early next year, I'll be ready with that second Thunderbolt 5 port. As for the third port, I'd like to add a Thunderbolt 5 NVMe for blazing fast access to my video and photo library. This dock is ready for that level of bandwidth. No adapters, no drama, just plug it in and go at full speed. By the way, if you found any good Thunderbolt 5 NVMe enclosures, drop them in the comments. I'm still hunting for the right one. What's great about these Thunderbolt 5 ports is that they're also backwards compatible. So I can, for example, hook up one of my CF Express cards and still get USB 4 transfer speeds. Awesome. So that's a quick look at all of the ports and how I'm using them. It's kind of wild how much high performance gear you can run from what's basically one connection to your MacBook. Well, two cables technically, but still plug it in and everything lights up. Unplug and you're ready to go. No chaos left behind. And even with all of that power and connectivity, the dock remains cool and stable. The floating design and the fan are doing a great job. By the way, if you're wondering about fan noise, you can hear it, but it's subtle and it stays within a comfortable range. So who's this dock actually for? Well, it's clearly made for MacBook Pro users. No Intel Macs, no Windows, just Apple Silicon. If you're a creative pro, editing, photography, design, or anything that involves many tools and not enough ports, this thing fixes that. If you're mostly browsing Reddit, however, this might be overkill, but you'd look incredibly pro doing it. So that's the Fusion Dock Max 2, a MacBook dock for Thunderbolt 5 that's fast, versatile, and built like a tank. And it looks cool too. Even if 23 ports sounds like a bit much, think of it as future-proofing. Insurance for whatever awesome stuff you plan on doing next. Check the link below if you want to learn more or grab one for yourself. Big thanks to Ivanki for sending this over, and I'll see you in the next one. 